everyone so in the last episode and uh, which was the first episode of this series i started off as king alfonso and uh, reunited or basically i united the three realms of castile leon and uh, galicia and now i'm continuing my expansion so i'm aiming for the reconquista which is the um, uh, basically uh, the reunification or the unification of all of the iberian peninsula and its conversion to uh, christianity so uh you know i left off with a war against the dunadids and i took away some of their territory which now i settled in and i changed toledo or i basically declared toledo as my new capital and uh what i'm doing now is obviously i'm trying to pacify these andalusian mualladi populace that i talked about in the last episode these guys are kind of bane and you know they are they were my downfall in a previous run uh, when I attempted to, to play with them. So what you got to do is aim to convert culture, all right, before you try with the religion. Like, look, I'll show you. I can try to bring people to Christianity. Let's see, for example, in Toledo, it's going to take seven years. And I think there's a th there might be the factor of, uh, of uh, culture that plays a role. I'm not sure. I'm going to test it out in a bit. But at least if I get them to convert to and you know uh, Castilian, that's going to be one less reason for people to revolt because this is an joint. It's this a populist faction is both Andalusian, so different culture and religious. So I think I'm going to diminish that. And I just captured this much territory and already you know they're at 77 percent. So worst comes to worst, I'm going to probably invest in religion, theologian traits of faithful, and then go for zealous proselytizer, proselytizer to you know, can enhance the progress speed for conversions by 25%. But for the time being, it's not too terrible. And we continue to expand, right? So that's the whole point here. Um, the stretch schemes effectiveness. You know, I think I'm going to go for steward right now because I, I like this. You know, you get a uh, popular figurehead. Let's go for, let's go for that. Right? I want to build tall too. I want to play that that type of game so uh, I want to I also want to uh, you know I want to basically capture more territory let's see with their allies there's 2500 more um, you know uh, allies so levies that is so I'm thinking if I can kill this guy and his heir which is a little kid go to war with them I can basically you know then kind of wreck them right in a war and with without having to risk any allies okay, coming on their behalf so uh although i do have enough money to bring in some you know a good contingent of mercs but i want to avoid that and and then afterwards i might settle or aim for barcelona we'll see because you know i also want to you know uh reunite the uh the iberian peninsula and i'm worried what if the french put their hands on it so uh if i can just you know take the northern frontiers right away and isolate the south that would be perfect right um and you know keep good relations with christians fellow christians and stuff so uh, what was i gonna say oh yeah another objective obviously is to declare myself emperor of hispania which would give me the achievement tied to uh, specifically this character or his siblings of uh sibling uh wars right so you're supposed to kind of Starting as one of the Himena brothers, uh, you want to become the emperor of uh, Hispania. But that doesn't mean that you need to control all of it. You just need to control 67 counties. I'm at 39. So hopefully we'll we'll get there very soon. Okay, so what's going on with this guy? He lost an ally. You can hypothetically go and, you know, try to attack him. But why not wait for his heir? You know, an eight-year-old. Oh, who's actually poor but good for his age, in fact. On Marshall. Uh, anyways, we'll wait for that assassination to take place, and then we'll go on a, on an all-out attack. All right. So the Pope. Oh, this is my Archbishop. My Archbishop likes me. Um, can recruit men at arms. Sure, why not? Did he die? Yeah, he died. So this kid has no allies. We might as well 
but what's going on here? I want a holy war. Wait, what's going on? Is the kid Christian? Why can't I do a holy war against this kid? That's weird. Anyways. Okay, well, that's that's bizarre. I'll um I don't know what I'm going to do actually. Kind of was hoping I could uh go for that, but in any case, maybe not. Maybe we'll capture this Valencia and those rich regions. Right, those coastal regions. I just want to capture Barcelona. Vastly inferior. Does this guy have allies? I mean, we can also call our allies too. Um, yeah, so let's do that. But I'm just trying to wonder, I'm, I'm wondering why I can't... Okay, any case, you know what? Let's, uh, let's keep this guy converting people here. Okay, is the local culture in Lisbon now Castilian? Yes, perfect. Does that mean that the faction has been weakened? Yes. Uh, so culture plays a role too. Uh, let's get her to convert people in Madrid, for example. In, in Quencia, maybe. In Madrid, they are Castilian and they're, they're actually Catholic too, so that's good. So, um, anyways, we'll, we'll attack the Thunanids then, in that case. We'll go for the Duchy of, uh, I, th I believe it's Valencia. And maybe, you know, just to facilitate things, call upon our allies. I don't mind calling my allies to war. How's England doing? Yeah, they're not at war. Just bring them in. You know, it's practical, just in case. Because Muslims, uh, Muslim empires will probably... Not Muslim empires, sorry, but like the Muslim... Uh, uh, local Muslim rulers will come and, 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 you know, maybe attack me or join in an alliance against me. So, so far it's just me and him. But I don't mind just bringing in the English. And there's a dangerous faction that's brewing. It's a liberty faction. Oh my god. Alright. Maybe I'll appease them if I win this war. I'll give them some territory or something. And look, the English are already in. Okay. Thirty, twenty-six months, and they're at eighty-six percent. I can easily crush them. What if I try to imprison this guy? Yeah, he's in jail. He's in prison. Too weak to send an ultimatum. All right. Good. That's what I thought. I wonder if some of my vassals are attacking. Yeah, some of my vassals are expanding for me to the south. That's perfect. Thank you, vassals. Okay. So this guy is getting crushed in another war. You can see them, you know, his troops retreating. Um, maybe I'll meet him on the battlefield. No, just... Uh, no, 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 no. Look at the English. They basically broke the siege. Like, just stay, you know, focus on your siege. I'll be fine. You don't need to join me. Okay, well, whatever. 27%. Okay, that wasn't that worth it, but all right. We'll, uh, we'll fix this situation. So we're going to try to get Valencia now. Okay, he got his allies. Okay.
This run has been significantly easier than the previous one that I tried. Uh, sometimes, you know, a luck plays a role here, you know. As does history, right? That's kind of how history works. It depends on the kind of regional factors and dynamics too. Uh, you know, obviously, not to kind of diminish from our good strategy here, but, uh, you know, it's uh, things have worked favorably at some point. You know, the Muslims never got too strong. It's very important. Or the Muslim dynasties, that is. All right, so... I really like having the English on my side. Okay, uh, what are we looking for here? Vassal levy contribution. Tax man. Yeah. Popular figurehead. Okay. Popular figurehead gives you a plus 50 opinion, which might be good in those regions that, that detest you. In Andalusian Moality Populist Faction against me. You see? I can get like, I can reduce the minus 59 here to at least minus 9. Who are we at war with? Okay, we're the defenders. I guess we, uh, one of my vassals won a war. Yeah, that's what it is. Ninety three percent. Let's just go finish these guys off here. Okay, we won this war a hundred percent. Perfect. Thank you. To the English for you know coming clutch as always. Uh all right. I'm going to give this away. These are some pretty good areas for uh for levies that we got here. Euclid. Okay, let's maybe you know, let's let's grant some territory for to, for somebody. You know, somebody who's how's she doing? Okay. I worry though. Uh, what if she didn't get a matrilineal marriage? Okay. Perfect. I'm trying to just look for did I okay just trying to see what I can give away here because we're at six maybe I'll keep I'll keep one over the limit just for the time being take care of that later okay who is a steward we can get a good steward okay perfect two years left for the cultural conversion that's not bad probably do a white piece here don't want to prolong this for too long okay any factions against me no you might be right how's the emperor of hispania doing empire of hispania rather okay Hmm. 
Okay. Trouble misunderstanding. Alright, so... You see, these are the Andalusian factions that I told you about. They get so, so, so annoying at a certain point. So, uh... Gotta... Always, you know... You gotta make sure you... you you don't expand too fast. Look, this is 138%. Now imagine I had way more territory. No, you gotta be very careful. It's a it's a you gotta play conservatively this game. Okay. Maybe you're gonna go for the full war uh score here, why not? Yeah, why not? Force demands. Okay. It's extra money in the you know some extra money right there. Okay. Valencia. Maybe I can give this away to somebody here. Maybe this guy is Castilian. Here we go ahead. Take this. It's yours. Alright. Uh... Okay, I don't want to be a witch. <laughs> Try to avoid headaches. Okay, now I can do the duchy here, the duchy war. Uh, I did say I want to kind of approach this carefully. Um, I don't know, it's a tough one. Okay, let's see what the Moelides do first. Okay, let's see, they're going to rise up. See what happens first. And then I'll take it from there. Okay? Like, I'm going to give them the chance to rise up in nine months. I'll crush them. And then we'll see how that goes. And then maybe I'm just going to attack the who dids here. What about the Almoravids? What's happening to them? I mean, th these guys will fragment. I'm 100% sure of that. As long as they don't become an empire, that's my concern. You know what? I mean, I can, you know, try to get this guy assassinated. He's pretty old. He has two, three, four sons. Okay, they're, they're bound to fall apart when he dies. So I shouldn't worry too much about them for the time being. Wow. We basically... Let's get some mangonels. We're basically, you know, we're crushing everybody right now for the time being. Execute, maybe. Get some dread. Um, sh who is this guy? Is my vassal? No. 100 ducats, sure. No, you don't get me anything. Then we will uh, burn her at the stake. Burn at the stake. So we're 100%, we're at 100 dread. We're pretty dreaded and feared. That's good. What's happening here in uh, Toledo? A call to war, sure. Okay, the culture here is going to convert pretty soon. I want to see if that's going to reduce the faction here. The Muelladi factions are, are, are kind of diminishing. So Denia, County of Castellon, Evora. Okay, so... Okay. Pacify them as much as possible. Oh my god, the Byzantines are at war with somebody here. They're scary. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. Let's see. Let's see if there have been any adjustments. Are they going to keep spawning every two seconds uh, like they used to in the past? A lot of people complain about how difficult they are to deal with. But again, if you approach this carefully, by the way, I did the achievement, the Portugal achievement with the Nunez or the character, and I had that problem with the Moelides, but I did expand kind of in the, you know, Portuguese area, so it wasn't the whole peninsula, but still, I did 
make it simpler for my, for myself by ah oh, there's a liberty faction too i did make it easier on myself by um you know uh just crushing them right so uh not crushing them sorry doing the conver uh, cultural conversion thing it it really helps okay so let's try this area okay let's see what if it works so we won this war and you know what obviously uh we got some ourselves some prisoners no i can't execute this guy i want to see if that liberty faction still dares to kind of oppose me if i sent you a massive gift what about this guy No, what about this guy? I sent you a gift. And then I gave you vassals. Nah. You know what? We'll deal with it when it comes, when it happens. For the time being, let's disband. How are the Moelides? Are they making a comeback? No. I think they understood the situation. Okay, I want to kind of I want to get this guy out of the faction. What would he want? Does he want to become chancellor? We can give it to him. Really? Is that him? Yeah. Why not why not assign? I mean, it's not based on anything, but it's he's really a nobody, but I don't know, just we'll see. Try to sway him. I do want to avoid. Uh, I do want to avoid. Uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, unnecessary conflict right now. Right. Okay, the Moalides are not responding quickly as quickly as I thought they would. But again, then again, you never know with these guys. They're just so relentless. Toledo is on the verge of converting to Catholicism. Uh, these areas are converting, so that's good. Okay. Okay, that faction is gone, which only means in my case that we're going to attack these guys. Maybe call upon England again, as we typically do. Why not, right? It's only 350 prestige. Okay. Take that their capital of Zaragoza right away. Maybe. Uh, Alright, so what do we do now? Check the factions. Okay, not bad. We go to war. We can call on your allies. Oh, we don't even have an alliance with the. Uh, let's call it Aquitaine. We don't have a. We no longer have an alliance with uh, with the English. I think someone died. Okay, perfect. Just crush them right away. They don't have any allies incoming anyways. And now we go for their capital. And another dangerous faction yet again. I will maybe grant this guy something. Just so he can kind of, I don't know, leave us alone a little bit, but... What do they think of me? Like, wow, what is it that they... Do they hate the fact that I... 
do, does he want me to create a duchy for him? I can create a duchy for him. You know, I I mean, I he's on he's on the battlefield right now, but we'll see. It's actually 21 months away, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Rest in peace. All right. I will look into this immediately. All right, so we captured their capital. We're at 91%. Okay. So what is this? I might have missed something, but is there a hooks and secret schemes? Anyways, um, <laughs> look at the Andalusian morality. Okay. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, we win. Congratulations to me. Wow. All right. Toledo is about to uh, convert to Christianity. So let's see. Who's our most powerful vassal and how much territory do they have? So if I give this guy in the faction here, I where is he? If I give this guy, where would he be located? Oh, he's all the way over there. He's Galician. Nah. What if I... Okay. He, now he's under this guy. So maybe that faction is going to disappear. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. Simple very simple okay now we need to start we need to seriously empower some people in this area okay um let's see a castilian guy cool uh show recent titles all right so let's give him this he's gonna really like us for what we did and then this little Castilian boy, 216, he's a son of a bastard, but he's okay, he's decent. Let's give him this new territory. So we're at 5-5 five, five again, that's great. And the realm gets reorganized now. Okay. Where are we at war with? Liberty War. Okay, it's not our war anyways. Um... I'm not even going to bother helping right now. I'm, I'm going to be super selfish. Uh, okay. So, let me check factions. Moalities are not that much of a threat. Oh, now they're... <laughs> I spoke too soon. But, okay. They're not like crazy like they were in the previous... Maybe I'm just going really slow. I think that's what it is. Uh, let's convert to Leto. Okay. They need 21 months anyways. We'll crush them by then. Okay. Large levies. Plus 20%. Yeah, we'll need that. And then let's choose a good marshal. Okay, this guy will be the marshal. And then. Um, okay, cool. Alright. So. Once Toledo converts, I'm gonna make a claim on the. D d I'm gonna try to make a claim on the Duchy of Barcelona. Okay, I think that's gonna be my next move. Okay, how is my son doing? Who is his? Okay, uh, we need to murder his wife because she's just. I think. Oh no! Well, never mind. That's Matilda's daughter. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. We we that's a good alliance. That's fine. Um, 
where we need you know some allies is perhaps here uh, let's get France sure why not excellent what's the Iberian Peninsula situation looking like I will send my troops immediately my bad okay yeah I'll send them fair enough fair enough I'll help you out just he lost the Liberty War um, okay so if we declare an empire wait what do I need here I need a more duchies for sure I just hope he doesn't complain anymore and says that I'm not helping him. I'm really helping him at this point. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, where are the factions possibly coming stemming from Zaragoza? Okay, let's convert Zaragoza then. Okay, perfect. We need good marshal. Call to war. Everyone's just calling me to war at this point. Is she warring with the Pope? Yeah, she is. I don't think she stands a chance though. Okay. Let's fabricate a claim on this. Mm, no, I can't do a whole. Apparently, it won't work. Like a Dutch, a whole duchy won't work. So, uh, what if I tried to offer him vassalage? I mean, I could send him a gift. Uh, it's probably risky. Sway. You know what? I got it. I got. I got something in mind. I'll send him a gift. Okay. He's definitely not gonna accept that easily. But there's something I can do now. My king is kind of. He's 54 years old. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go diplomacy and try to get the true ruler uh, thing. But. If I can get the true ruler perk, it's offer vassalization acceptance of plus 25. So let's see if we can do that. Maybe we don't need to go to war. You know? Maybe we can just incorporate him like that. Okay. Let's help this guy win the war. You want freedom, you shall have it in death. Rally the troops. Who are these people? Is it the Moelides? Yeah. Oh my god, you see what I mean? So luckily now, we're not... Uh, I'll call my allies. Let's, let's get France. Luckily now, um, you know, they're not as terrible, but holy, they, they, they get really... They start depleting your troops eventually. You start hating this, like, like run... But anyways, let's assign this guy. I'm really liking this campaign, actually. It's a pretty fun one. Okay. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> this guy wants me to apologize okay for my duke's actions like I'm not going to alright so we win this war we enforce our demands I want to see now what happens in Zaragoza the popular opinion locals pacified oh okay so good, the good thing is is when you win 
against them, they get pacified. So that's that's pretty great. All right, um, this band. Okay, so I want to see what's going on with Barcelona right now. Maybe if we can arrange a marriage, your courtier, your no. Okay. Uh, I mean, what can I do right now? Convert. Let's see. Zaragoza, convert. There's going to be a war too in Jerusalem. A crusade. Now let's convert people to Christianity. How long is that going to take? 34 years. Oh my god, no. Alright. I mean, we can make a claim on here on this guy, Barcelona, but I'd rather bring him, you know, in through vassalage. So, you know, the good thing is, though, that the really good thing is, is that if I can manage to survive for long enough and get the true ruler trait, he'll accept, right? So we get Barcelona just like that. Okay, we're at 49, we need 67. How is the faction situation? Good. Who's attacking these guys? Okay, so the good thing is is that oh okay, okay, great. My vassals are also like launching wars on these Muslim dynasties, so they're expanding the realm for me. You know, and uh Okay. Matilda's uh, doing pretty well. If she captures Rome, I think this is going to be a war. The war is going to be over. Uh, who is this guy? Ah, oh, we can murder him. Marry my daughter to someone more efficient, or someone more you know, a more practical marriage, right? Duchy of Mercia, 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 rather. Excellent. All right, so. Okay, hopefully we can get there on time. True ruler. I think my die, my guy's gonna die before then. But anyways, that would be a nice addition. Let's check the. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, firm hand, monthly prestige per dead. Okay. attack Barcelona soon if no we're not gonna attack it sorry but we're gonna try to you know convince them to uh, join us wait I need more time to prepare hold on three months at least I don't want to kill him just like that marry my daughter to someone a little bit more you know someone who can get us an alliance right difference in your military strength that plays a role may you rest in peace so now my daughter is single and uh if she can get us an alliance here. Something. Anything. Duchy of Barcelona. Why not? 
maybe that will give him more you know uh, reasons to join us right so uh, perhaps not but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to true ruler let me see 57 I highly doubt it he's getting old Okay. I'm going to drop this. I, I don't know. We'll see. What if I get the whole county? If I get the whole county, I won't drop it. But if I... Sorry, the whole duchy. But if not, I'm going to drop this claim against him. Because he's... I'm trying to bring him into my realm. Why would I piss him off? Right? So, you can declare wars. Okay. Alright, it's turning into a waiting game now. No, okay, so come here. I'm gonna use you to make conversions instead. What would, it would take 39 years to complete. Oh my god, that's how long, 39 years? I mean, why not give it a shot, right? You just give it a shot. F7. Okay, the Moelides are not as crazy. What about the cultural conversion here? Where is that going? Is that coming along? Yeah, that did come along. Okay, so maybe Valencia. Let's do Valencia. Huh. Cultures. See, Castilian is becoming predominant in these areas, and I think that's why we're seeing a reduction in, in possible rebellions here. Is there any way to make this guy like me even more? What if I sent him more money? Okay, no. My granddaughter. Okay, anyways. Come on. 17. We need that perk, right? Benevolent intent. Okay. Alright, so who knows? He might live long enough. 59. He's not that old, right? So if he dies, I mean, we'll see what we'll do if he dies, but um, I think. Oh, <laughs> well, that answers my question. Um,. You know what though? Wait, hold on. Um, boy, it's so scary when you first take on, uh, you know, a, uh, a new ruler. Okay, so I'm going to try to get the true ruler. Look, Barcelona, offer vassalage. Why this? What? Difference in our military strength. What are you talking about? Is it that bad? Okay. 
well, Chancellor. All right, Stewart. Okay, we came close, but you know maybe I'm gonna convince this guy to perhaps, uh, you know, perhaps he'll he'll come to terms, and then you'll you know he'll uh, he'll wanna let us vassalize him. Okay, so the the thing changed now. Let's give him a nice sum of money, and let's uh, you know he's definitely not our ally, but let's. Let's basically sway him, okay? And then hopefully, if we can sway him, that will change his mind, I guess. I don't know. And I'm going to work on my diplomacy. So who's who's trying to do what here? Um, they're trying to install some guy in the throne. Uh, do we have prisoners? Yeah, we do. We can start executing them. Okay. Did gain some strength, uh, some stress, but all right. I don't mind another civil war, to be honest with you. Who are my allies? So, hmm, the Holy Roman Empire. Your daughter. Should I risk it? No. I mean... You know what though? Yeah, I can risk it because she's very young. I can get that... That... That, you know, alliance with the Roly Home Roman Empire. And then I can break it whenever I want. So... Because she's still young. So she won't have any kids from him anytime soon. So now we have an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. Can I marry other people? You can lawfully imprison, blah, blah, blah. Uh, not endorse my, my archbishop. That makes sense. Um, okay, so... Hence why we have a penalty on the... Uh, on the... Um, you know, on our army, but uh, on our levies. Murder? What if we murdered this guy? What if we imprison this guy? Imprison him. No. Imprison him. Uh, no, let's not do it. We have plenty of money to be able to survive a civil war. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Manage domain. Okay. Let's fix up the council here. Huh. Let's get this guy on board. On board, sorry. Okay. Now, I mean... Maybe I'll give him... Another vassal. Ooh, no, he's really strong. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I, I need to be careful. I will not be threatened. Okay, so which one is that? What's the... Uh, you know what? I guess I have no choice. Oh. Okay, too weak to send an ultimatum. I will not be threatened. Okay, so that's the civil war that I uh, needed to get into. Okay, so um, this is what we're going to do. We're obviously going to call our allies, right? So you can call your allies to war. Matilda's going to come. 
the Holy Roman Empire and France. Uh, you know, so, uh, I mean, this is kind of like a huge mistake on their part, I believe. Um, you know, and again, it allows us to kind of reset, right? That's kind of the, the strategy I've been pursuing. Excellent. But also, we got to be careful because this, you know, uh, Muslim forces will probably wage war or try to capture some of our territory. So, um, okay. Let's, let's capture the, let's, let's defeat these guys first. Okay. So who else is, uh, willing to start a war too? What's going on here? Ah, oh, come on. Just give us a break. You know, just a break. Send some money. I don't know. Should I put him on a... Uh, okay, sure. So... This guy is not gonna, you know, accept any time soon to be vassalized. Okay, all right. So the faction situation is looking very dangerous. Maybe I can create a duchy for this guy. Okay, hold on. I'll create a duchy for him. Duchy of Aragon. Create title. I can give it to him. Maybe he can leave me alone for a little bit. So I'm gonna give you this duchy. If you promise me, you know, to not bother me for the time being because, you know, I need to, you know, have other wars to wage, right? So, all right. I think he's, I think, yeah, that, I think that faction is done. Uh, okay. We're going to go defeat these guys too. And I'm probably going to raise a bunch of, oh, uh, no, not the time, France, not the time. I think I'm going to raise some uh, mercs. Who? Now, okay. What a jerk. What a jerk. Uh, what a, I mean, he's at 100%. Why is he still in that, in that uh, thing, right? So let's see. Maybe we're gonna put in. Uh, I'm gonna put in some mercs here. I'm gonna release or you know erase some mercs if uh, need be, and I think need it will be necessary probably. Yeah, probably, very likely. Um, okay, let's raise them. Kind of like how it gets difficult though. It's not you know it's. It's part of the game. It's pretty cool. Oh, what happened here? Okay, so and who? Okay, Barcelona. Oh no, I, I don't know what's going on here. It's not Barcelona. Never mind. I thought Barcelona was at war with France. This is when you get like really kind of distracted and gets intimidating. The game. All oh, right, so. Okay, it's 56. Perfect. Marshall. Okay, so where are my allies? Like where what are you doing? Okay, Matilda's here, so she's and the Holy Roman Empire. Perfect. All right. So Spy master, a sign. I think we can win this easily. Look at Matilda; she's sending her troops across too. Amazing. Now the capital of the rebels is going to get captured. Oh, somewhere in ninety-nine percent, we captured his son, the rebel's son. Uh, these jerks never, I mean, shouldn't have messed with us, honestly.
95%. It's okay. <sighs> Why do I keep losing these, uh, you know? Keep losing uh, uh, counselors. It's, it's getting annoying. Or council members. Okay, all right. We're going to win the civil war for sure. Perfect. 100% war score. I knew it. It was kind of risky, but I had a feeling we'd win. And uh, now we got some people in jail. Let's see. Let's see what our crown situation is like. We're at two. I'm going to raise it, hopefully, on the 20, you know, 1121. I'll, I'll raise it. Right now, it's kind of good. Um, so many things happen at once. So let's see what our faction situation is. Sorry, that's the encyclopedia. Avoid that. Okay, so many people in prison now. Maybe this guy. Uh, I mean, I can ransom him for 100. Nah, I'll keep them here. I can even, I think I can revoke their titles. Let me see. Because they were, you know, they were pretty much uh, revoke. Will that mean, will that make me a, a tyrant? Yeah, it will. Okay, well, whatever. I'll keep them in, in prison for the time being. Um, okay. So are we still swaying this guy? Yeah, we are. And let's see here. We got... Oh no, we were not collecting. I was not collecting uh, these perks. I should be careful. Okay. Alright. So, if I go for Empire of Hispania, we need 17 more. 17 more provinces. Or counties, sorry. What if I went... No, I can't do that. Okay, so the cultures are being converted. Slowly but surely. Okay. Should I go for the Amarids? I'm probably going to do one more war, or maybe no, I think I'm going to just check a little bit to see what's going to happen here. Okay, so we got a son. That's amazing. Alfonso. Uh, he's the eighth, I guess. So many Alfonsos here. Uh, maybe, you know, get him married to the Duchy of... Uh, get him alliance with the Duchy of Austria. Why not? So be it. Okay. Let's see how Barcelona is faring here. I mean, maybe it's time to also prop up my army, right? Um, I'm going to get armored soldiers. Does that mean that they'll be more willing to accept that? Okay. What is what jihad are they talking about? Okay, I don't know. All right. Sure. That's it though. I don't think I'm ransoming any. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this guy. Aside from that, I think these guys are gonna have to stick in jail for a little bit or in prison. Okay. I wish my military can be a bit larger. Had the father lived a little bit longer, we could have gotten, uh, we could have gotten, uh, you know, them to join us. You know, the Barcelonans into a, uh, or the Catalonians into, th just simply through, uh, you know, uh, asking them for uh, to be our vassals instead. But it's okay. What's going on here? Okay, perfect. Gain the title of pilgrim. And I'm faithful. So that does mean, what that means is that I can actually go ahead and capture more territory. 
And I think I'm going to. I think, let's see, who are their allies? I think I'm going to do it. Who are my allies too? Okay. What happened to France though? Offer to join war. Uh, Tuscany. Alright. Well, you know what? Let's do one more war. One more. The Amarid Emirate. Okay, so... I think... It's gonna be... The last war here for... For this video. Because we're not having any problems with the Moelides. You know, they're at 25%. They're fairly pacified, actually. Uh... And she's about to convert the, or he's about to, or she's about, who is it, is it he or she? He's about to convert this uh, Castellan to, uh, you know, Castilian culture, so that's good. It's good to be home. I'm going to call my allies, all of them. Matilda, the Holy Roman Empire, and the Duke of Austria. Excellent. Excellent. They did bring in their allies. Okay. Let's go for their capital. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. My allies are coming in. So Murkia, or whatever you call it, is now going to be part of our realms too. Okay, seven months away from converting the culture, and then I'm going to change the area. Convert more people to Castilian culture. Okay, how far away are we from declaring an empire? Still, I mean, we're getting close, but not there yet. Not quite there yet. Okay. Perfect. We captured his son. So, enforce demand. And so be it. And so we get v much closer now to an empire, to, you know, creating the empire of Hispania. Um, but, of course, we need to manage the realm and we need to, uh, you know, uh, uh, organize this well and continue the expansion and also converting people to the culture right that's a uh, really important so you know I think this is fairly good so far this is pretty ideal I don't see us in any kind of dire situation but I got to be very careful with how things uh, move forward though of course uh, we're pretty bad we're doing pretty bad on prestige actually I need to keep I stay aware of that um, we don't make much piety we lose piety so uh, there are some things to consider here as we as we go forward um, but yeah I think uh, you know I think this is kind of more than ideal for the time being and uh, uh, you know I'm gonna stop it here I'm gonna come back with more content in the third episode and just uh, you know continue that push southward as I convert people uh, you know as I convert people to Castilian culture I think this is why I haven't been facing the problem of Muelady revolts, right? So we shall see. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos, and I'll be back very soon. Uh, have a nice day.